welcome back to Hermitcraft. All right. Well, as you can see, I got this uh, stretched out. And yes, right around here, you hear the villagers because they're standing on, a, on uh, blocks that are exactly four blocks down from here. <laughs> and I am not going to move them. That's too much of a pain. Uh, I've been doing a little bit around here, in addition to getting the pathways extended, pathways, roads, trails, whatever. I went ahead and decided to go ahead and expand this place to conceal this from the outside. Now, I figure there's going to have to be some kind of a wall in here, maybe a door with something that says, uh, well, with a sign that says, like, administration only or something like that. I still haven't come up with any kind of a way to take this structure any further than it is right there. And it does need some finishing because it's, well, unfinished. And this is going to also need similar work. If you'll recall, this is basically shipping and receiving. We've got a launch facility, we've got a runway. And this is where anything being shipped in will come to until it's taken to its final destination. And where anything being shipped out will be shipped from. You know, not that I expect a whole lot of shipping out or shipping in or anything, but that's the idea. I am still completely stuck about house designs and whatnot. I I know a couple or three house designs that might work, but I don't want them all to look the same. And if I start using the designs that I know, they're going to mostly look the same. And then, of course, there's the matter of concealing this, but I have an idea about that. I've also been thinking about possibly making the runway longer because looking at it from up there or from up in the control tower, it looks short. Even though it's not intended to be like an international or anything like that, it's just a small regional airport. And in the real world, something like this would never expect anything bigger than a Cessna to land. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. In the meantime, I thought maybe it might be an idea to do a little something a little bit different just for once. And take a little bit of time flying. Let's see, let's bring the leather, bring an anvil. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Uh as a matter of fact, let's make sure that thing is repaired. Yo, that cost quite a bit. Okay, so I may not, I don't have enough to fully repair it, but I've got enough to put like one leather or something on it. Okay, all right. So, let's head over here to the launch building, which it occurred to me it would be a really good idea to have a uh, supply of rockets available here. In addition to, on the wall, there needs to be signs to tell folks how to use this thing. I mean, I know, but, yeah. All right, you come up here, you hold shift, point upwards make sure you're not aimed at the collision box for the ladders and hit space and fire the rockets at the same time yeah nice easy dirt simple way to launch it's also a nice way to get up here too I have to remember that. All right. Meanwhile, 
I thought maybe it would be a good idea to head in towards the center area, the community area in the middle that I actually haven't been to in quite a while. Whoa. Pardon the F3, but I need to actually know how high up I am. Another mob farm or something, I guess. I don't know. I expect a lot of things have changed since the last time I came through here. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Wells Knight's castle has grown... Good night. There's a whole city in there. Oh, man. That is amazing. All right. Let's see what's over here. Oh, wow. Well, whoa. Well, if that doesn't look like it hasn't actually kind of grown through from the netherworld, I don't know what does. Wow. That is amazing. I am assuming that there is some kind of official way to use this. And yes, I am way behind on my video watching because there are so many to watch that it's hard to keep track. Let me put it this way. I am very thankful for the recap, guys. <laughs> they make things easier. Okay, now, I know this is where the community area is, down below. Okay. And what's this? Come on, guys. Okay. Whatever that is. Well, obviously a pumpkin. All right. I'll bite. Let's check this out. All right. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. All right, let's have a look around here. What? Gunpowder. Okay. So somewhere around here there's gunpowder. All right. There's slime. I'm looking to see this huge structure that I think is probably up a bit. This huge cavern thing. I don't think this is it. No. I think somehow I have managed to land in the basement. Wouldn't that just figure? <laughs> Okay. I would have thought there'd been 
Is that access? Is that the access over there? Let's have a look. For all I know, it's just an observation platform. Well, I hear plenty of zombies. Huh. Peculiar. You know, I, I've seen clips of this huge, amazing place. And I come down here to have a look. And I can't see a way to get into the place that I've seen. Isn't that awful? Okay, maybe that's accessible. Oh, what is with the thing taking off the instant it shows up? Good night. I mean, it doesn't stay there long enough for you to get into the thing. All right, I'm going to have to look around a bit and see if I can figure out what's what. Okay, I found it. Or something that might be it. I don't know how many times I walked past this without seeing it. And now that I'm in here, how many times while I walk past it trying to find it to go back out? No idea. Zombies. Really? I gotta say, though, the place looks amazing. Although, it seems like they'll let just anybody in here. <laughs> All right. Let's see, we've got shops here. I guess this is a redstone place. Yeah. <laughs> Although there isn't a sign on it. All right, let's have a look at uh, some of what's in here. This looks like a good vantage point. Plenty of beacons. Oh, man. Splash of color. Oh, yeah, I saw this one in a video. Flash of color service orders. All right. I'll bite. Let's have a look. Cub splash of color service. Cranking out color since 2017. Yada, yada, yada. Focus on the use of colors to beautifully enhance builds. Okay. Whatever. All right, uh, complimentary dye farm. <laughs> cool. That's impressive. That really looks cool. That whole bit with the pistons and color thing. Okay. Let's see. Storage. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Uh, 
That took some time to do. Life is simple with automation. Oh, yeah. You know, for a second, it almost looked liquid. Like something was mol melted there. <laughs> Yeah, That's storage facility. This is uh, Izuma's place. Actually, I may be returning here sometime sort of soon-ish. Because I do need to have a good storage facility. I just need to uh, open up an area for it to be. I guess things continue up this way. Yeah. Just kind of meanders around. Um, okay. Oh, boy. Lots of heads. Okay. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Another one with no sign. Uh, let's see here. Boom. Explodifying. Yes. And slimifying. I just, yeah, there you are. You know, they really ought to fence these guys in. Oh, and there's zombies around, too. Beautiful. It sounds like, you know, oh, no. Uh-uh, no. I am not having, I am not dealing with creepers. I will do a public service and off that guy. That tells me that, you know, honestly, a little bit of work with the lighting would probably be a great idea. I would be happy to volunteer to run through here with like five stacks of torches or something of course that probably wouldn't fit with what somebody wants the place to look like what's this beacons blocks of gold <laughs> oh boy so this is a beacon shop impulses gear up and beacon port beacon rental oh okay Well, this looks impressive. Whoops. Get that off of there. Coming soon. Perception check. Games, poems, and advice. Okay. Slash clear is not for you or me. It's not the same as transparency. No, I don't think it is. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> Okay, what's this one? No entry. Construction in progress. Okay. I'll respect that. All right. What do we got over here? Uh, huge place. Seriously, you could easily fly around inside. I decided not to do that because... Not very familiar with what's where. And flying around inside could be cool, but doing it wrong, you could end up in bad places. Builds. Okay, yeah. I saw this one getting built. Build shop. Okay, instructions. Okay, 
Welcome to Wells Knight's Build Shop. You want me to build something for you? You want assistance on an existing build? Or you just want to hang out and use this as an excuse to do so? <laughs> I like that. Come to the right place. WBS for short specializes in all types of builds involving blocks and Minecraft. Medieval, we can provide it. Fantasy, we can provide that too. If you want a rustic build, you're in the right place. Pick a build style and we'll hook you up. Note, this does not include technical redstone builds. We're builders here, not magicians. I like that. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Okay, put that back. I am going to be utilizing Mr. Wells Knight services. At the very least, that big glass thing that is really ugly in the fort, that needs to be concealed. And frankly, I wouldn't mind a consult on a few other matters. So, I'm going to take a moment and leave an order before I leave. You know, I always have trouble writing these books. In, in spite of how simple it should actually be, I end up writing it blank, blank, censored, redacted number of times before it finally comes out with something really painfully simple like this. So, done. And orders. Oh, wait a minute. I should probably sign it. Services needed. Bang. Push. Boing. Advancement made. Poet. Oh, please. Okay, now yeah, let's have a look around some more at what else we've got in here. Uh, huge place. It looks like there might be some things down there. So let's go down there and find out. Of course, I don't know. It might just all be pathways at the moment. And folks have suggested more than once that I should set up a shop in here. The problem, the only real sticking point with that is I have not the first clue what service I should provide. If Although I'm tempted to offer a lighting up dark areas service because there are too many nasties running around loose around here. Okay, this just appears to go right all the way around and... Uh, Presumably, well, actually, I might be going in a spiral headed upward. Yeah. Yeah, this is spiraling up. I love the ceiling work over there. That's cool. That looks great. Yeah, this is going in a spiral headed around this central tree or whatever it is. Yeah. And at times you get some really epic views of all sorts of things. Yeah. I wonder if it manages to somehow go all the way to the surface. Somehow... I kind of don't think so. Or if it does, it's very well concealed because you can't see anything like that from on the top.
you know, I very much understand the aversion to having tons of torches all over the place. But at the same time, light is a good thing. And there are many places down there that don't have that good thing. And it makes me severely tempted. Oh, you see what I mean? Yeah. You see what I mean? This is the bottom of that pumpkin. Oh, pup crying out loud. Oh, I hate that bit when you hit a button and it closes before you can even see where you need to go. Okay, that's the surface access. Who knew? Yeah. <laughs> well, I tell you what. I'm going to have to... Uh, check out the other side of that portal oh for crying out loud oh yeah yeah you guys too bad you don't scare off the skeletons and the rest of them too yeah, I'm going to have to come back and check out the other side of that portal sometime. Probably sometime soon, because I'm sure there is epicness of epic proportion on the other side. Because, you know, I mean, just looking at the portal itself, if the portal is any example, what's on the other side is going to take a whole episode to explore. And we'll do that next time. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here.